Hey guys, this is Justin for BreakIntoCRE.com, and in today's video, we're gonna go over five of the most commonly used Excel shortcuts for real estate financial modeling and what those shortcuts are on PC and on Mac. So if you're trying to figure out how to increase your modeling speed, whether you're on PC or on Mac, make sure to stick around for this video. Now, if you're new here on this channel, we talk about real estate financial modeling and real estate investing careers. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So I wanna start this video off by saying that Excel for Windows is definitely the industry standard when it comes to real estate financial modeling and analysis. So if you're trying to land a job in the field, Excel for Windows is going to be the software program that you're going to end up using when you're actually out on the job and if you have to take an Excel financial modeling interview exam. This is why I teach all of my courses in Excel for Windows and why I recommend Excel for Windows so highly. That said, I know that many people who are just learning real estate financial modeling already have a Mac and don't wanna spend thousands of dollars when they're just dipping their toes in the water into real estate financial modeling and analysis. So while people are working through my coursework, one of the most common questions that I get asked is, what are the equivalent shortcuts for Mac that you use in these courses. So in this video, we're gonna go over five of the most commonly used Excel shortcuts and what those shortcuts are in Excel for Windows and what those shortcuts are in Excel for Mac. Now, the easiest way for you to see this is to actually jump into Excel and work through these together. So let's jump into Excel now. All right, so now we're in Excel and we have some sample cash flows that we can manipulate and use these shortcuts on. So let's start with the first shortcut and that shortcut is Paste Special. Now in Windows, the way that I teach this is by copying any cell. So I'll hold down control and hit C in cell C2 to copy this. And then to bring up Paste Special, I'm gonna hit Alt E S. And when I hit Alt E S, that brings up that Paste Special window. And I can choose if I wanna paste just formulas, just values, just formats, or any of these other options. Now, most of the time, the formulas, values, and formats are the three Paste Special options that we wanna use. So for formulas, I'll hit F, for values, I'll hit V, and for formats, I'll hit T. So that's a very quick and easy shortcut to be able to paste special values. However, in Mac, this is not available. So all shortcuts are not available in Mac, so what is the workaround? Well, the way you can accomplish the same result in Excel for Mac is by holding down Control, Command, and V all at the same time. And what that will do is bring up the paste special window where you can choose again whether you wanna paste formats, values, formulas, or any other option available in that window. And to stick with the shortcuts to not have to use your mouse, the letter keys are still the same. You use F for formulas, V for values, and T for formats. Now this is by far one of the most common questions I'm asked because paste special is used so much when building out a real estate financial model from scratch. So with that said, let's move back into Excel for Windows and move on to shortcut number two. Now shortcut number two is going to allow you to create borders for cells. So say if we went down to say cell C10, for example, and wanted to create an outside border here, what we can do is hit Alt H B. And when I hit Alt H B, that brings up all of these options for borders here. So I have a bottom border, top border, left border, right border, and then I have no border, all borders, and outside borders. And those are really the seven that we end up using the most in real estate financial modeling. So with that said, if I wanna create a right border, I can hit Alt HBR to create a right border. So you can see I have a right border there. Alt HBL will create a left border. Alt HBP will create a top border. Alt HBO will create a bottom border. And then if I select multiple cells, I can add borders around everything by hitting Alt HBA, and I can add borders around only the outside of my selection by hitting Alt HBS. And by doing that, I can add borders to my files really easily and quickly. And as you can see, we use these a lot in real estate financial modeling. Now, if I want to get rid of all of this, I can hit Alt HBN, and that's going to get rid of all of my borders. So now with that said, how do we do this in Excel for Mac, especially when you don't have those alt shortcuts? Well, fortunately, there's another workaround here that you can use to accomplish that same result, and that is command and option. 
Now, fortunately for Mac users, most of these shortcuts are actually more intuitive than what you'll see on Excel for Windows as far as adding borders are concerned. So for an outside border equivalent to Alt HBS, for example, you can hold down Command, Option, and Zero. And even easier, you can hold down Command, Option, and hit the left arrow key for a left border, hit the right arrow key for a right border, the up arrow key for a top border, and the down arrow key for a down border. Simple, easy, and straightforward. So that way, again, you can easily create borders regardless of what kind of border you want without taking your hands off the keyboard. Now, number three is actually two related shortcuts, both dealing with navigating and selecting a contiguous range of cells. So if you're trying to navigate to the final month of your analysis and wanna do that quickly, these shortcuts will help you shortcut that process. So sometimes in real estate financial modeling, you'll wanna to go to the final cell in a contiguous range of cells. So say for example, we wanna to go to our sale proceeds directly all the way out in year 10. Now this can be really helpful, especially when we're showing monthly cash flows, so we don't have to just scroll all the way over and just keep hitting that right arrow key. So to make that happen really quickly, all we need to do is hold down control and hit the right arrow key, and that'll take us all the way to the right hand corner of our range. Same thing if we wanna go down to the bottom of a range, I can hold down control and hit the down arrow key. Same thing to go left, control, left arrow key, and then finally to go up, control, up arrow key. And sometimes you'll also wanna highlight all of the cells in that range. So if I wanna highlight all of my sale proceeds, I can start in cell C4. And to do this, now I need to add one more key here. So I'll hold down control, shift, and then hit the right arrow key. And when I do that, I highlight everything in that contiguous range. And the same thing for every direction, control, shift, and then the down arrow key for down, left arrow key for left, and up arrow key for up. Now, if you try to do this for Mac, it's just not going to work. But fortunately, this shortcut is still available and is essentially exactly the same, except you're going to end up substituting the control key with the command key. So to go to the end of a contiguous range, you can just hold down command and hit the arrow key in the direction you wanna go. And to select an entire contiguous range, just hold down command and shift and hit the arrow key in the direction you wanna highlight as well. That way, again, you don't need to scroll to the very end of a range, especially when you have hundreds of columns or rows to navigate. Now, number four, as far as shortcuts are concerned, is navigating between worksheets. Now, especially when you're working in a file with multiple tabs, you wanna be able to navigate through a model quickly without having to use your mouse. Especially if you're working in a model with eight or 10 different tabs, you wanna be able to do this quickly and easily. Now to do this, let's just add a tab right here. We'll start a new sheet. And on Excel for PC, you can do this really easily. All you need to do is hold down control and hit page up to go to the previous worksheet and page down to go to the next worksheet. Now, if you're using a laptop, you may also need to hold down the function key alongside control to get this to work. So it may look more like control function and the up arrow key or control function and the down arrow key. But on Mac, again, if you just try control page up or control page down, you'll find that it doesn't work. So to do this on Mac, what you need to do is hold down function control and the down arrow key to go to the next worksheet or function control and the up arrow key to go to the previous worksheet. So similar to what you may have to do on a PC if you're on a laptop, but still different fundamentally than using page up and page down. So again, this is really helpful to be able to move quickly through your workbook even if you're navigating through a model with 10 or more tabs within that model. Now, finally, shortcut number five is the auto sum formula. So oftentimes when you're working in a model, you're going to wanna take the sum of a set of contiguous values. So to calculate your net cash flow for each year, what you may wanna do is take the sum of our purchase price, the net operating income and sale proceeds for each and every year. Now, what you could do if I delete this is type in equals sum and use the sum function and just highlight all three numbers right here. And that would work and that would give you your sum. But if you wanted to do that more quickly, what you could do in Excel for Windows is you could hold down the Alt key and then hit equals. And when you hold down the Alt key and then hit equals, Excel takes a guess on the array of values that you're going to want to sum. So in this case, it's guessed C2 to C4 and that's correct. So I can hit enter and now I have my correct value. Now, again, on Mac, you'll realize that this function does not work. So to use this shortcut on a Mac, you need to change this up quite a bit. And what you need to do is hold down Command, Shift, and then hit T. 
And by doing this, you'll get the same result as alt equals on PC, and you'll be able to auto sum a contiguous row or column of values, which again could be really helpful if you have hundreds of rows or columns that you need to find the sum of. So those are five of the most commonly used Excel shortcuts for both Mac and PC if you're trying to increase your speed in real estate financial modeling. Now, if you wanna learn the foundation that I've taught over 15,000 students at this point to really master real estate financial modeling, check out my free real estate financial modeling crash course, and you can grab that for free in the link in the description below. And if you wanna take your real estate financial modeling and analysis skill set to an expert level, check out Break into CRE Academy, which includes all of my courses, all of my models, and some additional one-on-one -on -one support. So if you're interested, make sure to check that out through the link in the description below as well. Now, if you like this video and want me to make more content like this, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.